again. This is Sandra with Life Over 60 with Sandra. It's summertime and a lot of us are going to be traveling, either taking cruises or by airplane. And as you know, airplane travel really is not what it used to be. It's getting very difficult with the extra baggage fees and having to squeeze in seats and put stuff up in the bin and there's usually no space if you're one of the last people to get on the plane. So today I am going to teach you how to pack for your vacation and put everything under your seat. That's right, you don't have to reach up into the bins, you don't have to wait for luggage claim. All you have to do is carry it on with you and it's small enough just to slip right under your feet in your seat. Now let's get packing. Okay, here is the case I'm going to be using and everything is going to fit in here and then I can just slide it under my seat when I'm on the airplane. The most important thing that you can do is to coordinate. You don't have to take a million pieces of clothes for a weekend or a week's vacation or even a two weeks vacation. I once went to Paris for a week or it was actually two weeks and I coordinated everything. I made everything black, white, with a touch of red so that I could mix and match my trousers or slacks, my skirts, my tops, everything that I had to wear I could mix and match. So out of a few pieces I got many many outfits and that really is the key to uh, convenient packing or smart packing is coordinate your colors. If you want to do earth tones then you put all the things that in there that are earth tones and you can mix and match, dress up or dress down all of your outfits. My secret of course is to roll. This is the top that you saw in the picture and I'm just going to very tightly roll this top up and put it into the suitcase. And this suitcase has several different compartments so I'm going to be using both sides. These are two tops that I have that can be dressed up and dressed down, long sleeve and short sleeve things. So depending upon where you're going or what you're doing, this is a nice camisole that can be used with long skirts or with your white uh, stretch pants, white anything. Even if you have a white skirt, you can use it with a white skirt. So these I'll go in here just like that and I'm going to show you after I have it all packed what it looks like. Alright, this is an accessory. Here's another top. It's more of a dressy top and we're going to roll that up. So we have quite a few tops to go with the pants selection that I have that I have chosen. Alright. And this is a skirt, a long skirt. You can have a short skirt. I am kind of a long skirt long skirt person. So I love long skirts. So I'm just going to roll this as tight as I can. And it's amazing if you get things that are wrinkle free as soon as you get to your destination. You can uh, hang them up and they will be absolutely perfect. Here is another dressy top that also can be worn with your white pants or your black leotards in there like this and um, I'm going to put in then the white pants you can wear white leotard or white stretch pants white leggings doesn't matter or if you're in earth tones you can have the earth tone ones and these are the black leggings that I'm going to wrap really tightly like this. Just roll them tight. Okay, put this in here like this so I have everything in here. I'm going to put the, all right, so everything is in here nice and tight. Now, I have a gap sweater dress 
that's long, I'm going to wear this on the plane so that it's comfortable and I'm going to be wearing it after I get to my destination, but I don't want to put it in the suitcase. It saves me from having to pack this. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I have everything that I wear as an outer garment right in here. And before, before I close up this partition in the bag, I'm going to put in my accessories. I don't want to wear them going through the TSA screening because they might bling. So I put in this beautiful necklace, can dress up and dress down. I put it in here and then I have another black necklace that is silver and beaded. But as, as I said again, I don't want it to bling when I go through. So I will put it here in the little envelope here. And also I have a soft silk belt that I can tie around my waist to dress things up if I want to. But it's very small and light and I'm just going to put that right on top of this particular part of my bag. So what I do is I take my lingerie and what I'm going to be sleeping in and I put it in a bag like this. And I use this afterwards as a laundry bag and I usually throw in a dryer sheet because it makes it smell kind of nice. But I fold it up like this and I put it in one of the pockets. Now if you have a suitcase that is just one compartment, I would put this on the bottom, lay it flat on the bottom, and then put your other clothing on top. All right, now we have, also we have makeup, and don't forget to take small samples of everything. I have a great Clinique compact that I have used forever. It's like this, and you can get them in whatever makeup that you love, but it has my lipstick, my blush, and my eyeshadow in here with the little brushes. So I have everything right here that I will need for a week or two weeks or more in this little packet. And I put it with my little bag of small samples. And don't forget, if you have a large container, something that you just love, then buy the uh, small bottles like this, no more than three ounces. And I keep these around all the time. They're great for packing things. All right, I will put that also in this compartment like this and zip it up and then the last thing to go is going to be my computer now TSA is going to ask you to remove this perhaps there's going to be a day when we can't take our um, electronics on board with us I hope that day never comes but if it does uh, be prepared anyway I put this in a compartment that I know that will be safe and I know when I go through the TSA and I have to put it in a special bin I can just unzip this and I don't have to disturb any of the rest of my clothes. And the last thing we're going to do, we're not going to pack shoes, we're going to wear our shoes. So be sure you take a pair of shoes that can be either dressed up and dressed down. These just happen to be very comfortable Nike Air shoes, but I love them because under a long skirt, the little red just peeks out. Or if I'm walking a lot, they're so comfortable. They're just like wearing sneakers. But I'm not going to pack these because they take up so much room. And I am going to wear this along with my Gap dress. And I'm ready to go. So there it is. It's very, very simple. If you want to go away and you want to pack a small suitcase and uh, we don't want to carry a lot of stuff, this particular bag has an outside pocket and I can put my passport or something like that in here. But I carry a little purse, crossbody purse, with my medications that you always should keep with you. Don't ever put your medications in your suitcase. I'm sure if you're a traveler, you know that already, so I don't have to tell you. But keep your identity with you, your passport, whatever you use for ID, and your medications 
with you at all times in a very small crossbody bag. So this is the way that you can travel without having to check luggage, without having the hassle of trying to put it up in the bins or asking someone for help if it's too heavy. I know my daughter, who is, as I said, is a flight attendant, she has really hurt herself and hurt her shoulders a lot by trying to help people put up heavy suitcases that they've overpacked and they're trying to avoid the uh, baggage charges. But I mean, I don't blame them. Nobody wants to pay extra if they have to. So this little bag goes with me. I just shove it under my feet at the seat and I'm ready to go. As soon as the plane lands, I'm off and running. I don't have to worry about getting and waiting for my uh, luggage to be taken out of the bin. I don't have to wait in the terminal for the baggage claim. So this is the best thing. I have put in this video the measurements of what you can take. You can take a backpack and do the same thing in your backpack, but be sure that you have your computer easily accessible so that you don't have to open everything up and um, disturb your nice packing job. Well, that's my video for today on how to easily have carry-on luggage that you can slip under your feet and you have a no bin space hassle or a no baggage claim hassle. As soon as the plane lands, you're ready to go to wherever you are going and enjoy the rest of your vacation. Have a great day and I love having each and every one of you. If you like this video, push the subscribe button and join me on this adventure over 60 and let's enjoy every single minute of it. Have a great, great day. See you soon.